Hey, you two clearers here. And I have the Corvette back from the shop, the mechanic. So I want to say something a little bit about cheap shops. We're trying to save some money taking it to something that's not a Corvette specific shop or body shop or whatever you want to call it. So, you know, I didn't want to drive all the way to the shop or go over there or whatever to the Austin Corvette. And I thought, you know, I know a bunch of mechanics I've worked in a, in a few shops myself. And I thought, you know, I might take it to one of those just to save some bucks or see how it comes out. So I'll show you a few things why you should never do that. And I get, a, I get told a lot about people that, you know, it's like whatever you say to any shop or it doesn't matter where you take it. Uh, and I'm not talking crap on any shops or talking down on people not knowing how to work on cars, but this is not a regular car, I guess you could say. It's not like the Camaro and stuff. So I come, they, I get the car back and the hood is chipped, see? I'm 100% sure I didn't have this before. I mean, it's not a big deal, whatever, you know, I drive the thing, it, it gets worn out, but I mean, just keep in mind when you're using somebody else's car, just be careful. Another thing, the other day that they did the brake booster thing, uh, this whole thing, it's missing a few screws. And when I'm driving or whatever, you know, the other day I was trying to brake and I, I heel toe, I try to heel toe every time. And my foot got stuck, stuck under the thing. And yeah, and it was, it was fine, nothing happened. But I mean, it's, it's annoying when you have to watch out for that and you can't drive right when your foot gets stuck under the dash. Uh, also, uh, there's the hood release. And when I got it back from the brake booster thing, it was uh, like under the thing. So there's the gap and there's the little thing that you pull on to get the release hood inside. So I had to wrestle it and manhandle it out of the way, make the hood work again. So, and my dad went and got it from me because I, I couldn't go pick it up myself. And they get home and the freaking hood is open. And if unless you're an idiot, I mean, unless you're not a Corvette guy, every Corvette owner knows this thing to get a close right. You know, you grab it from the middle and then you drop the hood or whatever. It's a fiberglass hood and it's, it doesn't close on the first time when other people do it. But yeah, so the hood was half open, whatever. But you know, just something to, to keep in mind. So, like I said, you know, it's not a good idea to take it to cheap shops or whatever. I mean, they know how to work in cars or whatever, but don't try to just keep it safe, play it safe. Spend a little bit more, maybe a little bit, a lot more maybe. But you'll be safe on the long run, see? So I'm a little bit upset, that's the last time I take this over there, and yep, I get this all right, it is what it is, it happens, I'm gonna take it for a test drive now, see how it comes out, so let's go, and then, uh, obviously it's warm right now, so it should start right up, let it click, let's see how it's going, see, it they drove it and now it has no, no gas, so now I gotta fill it up. Now you know it's some common sense. So it keeps on filling the tank. It was served. Let me crank it up.
fill it up right now. So now we just fill it up. And you know what's funny? I drive it every day to the construction site. And it's never this dirty, so they just says a lot about the shop. I don't know what the hell they're doing there, but it's even dirtier than I, I took it. And I'm a construction worker, so. back from the test drive what can I say you saw the car the runs still a little, little bit funny temperature seems to be fine uh, fuel seems to be all right not perfect yet clutch seems to be slipping but yeah like I said um next time I'm going to the Austin Corvette I'm not taking any chances anymore I went there a few times it's always been perfect and I only have a good thing to say about them